You hear Kirby found my water bottle fell off. It was empty and she got it. She, my dog has always loved crunch water bottles. So I'm just adding a few more stars around the back of the um, moon because I feel like I pressed too many out and I want it to be consistent. And that looks good. I'm excited. Um, I'll put a few more in here too. Why not? I'll put a big one. Little one. Good enough. It's kind of condensed in there. I got to put one there and one there. All right, whatever. See, I can get crazy. Now, now comes the tricky part because I think I want to embed. Now, I don't know if I want to put, I got to put an eye on them, right? And I could do it, like make the eye out of polymer clay or let's see. Oh, gaga, upside down. Oh, boy. That's not good. It's faulty design there with them. All right, so these are eyelets. And I feel like I want to make my eye out of an eyelet. That's kind of funny, huh? They have gold, silver. I think this gold would show up really nice if I put a gold eye right there. But it kind of needs an eyebrow. So I'm going to figure out some stuff to do to like give him a face. Just my moon. I feel like would look good. The sun, I'm not going to worry about a face on my sun. I mean, that's a that's a personal, personal preference. Um, but what I do want to do is embed this mirror. Kirby, take it in the other room, sister. Hey, Kirby, come here. Come. Come and take it in here. <laughs> Give me that. Oh, uh, too late. She won't let me. Um, so, oh. So I'm going to put, I think I want to put it like right, maybe right there. And I'm going to try and push it down. I don't need to, but I want to see how this goes. Like if I put it, and then Ginny brings me a toy and she's nudging me. You know, guys, I have my mojo here. You can't mess with me right now. I'm kind of in the middle of something. All right. I'm going to put this in there. I, sh I could put a little bit of a dot of glue, too, but I'm going to cover it. And I thought about, like, I have these, um, these cool keys and locks. I'm not, I, was, I think I'm going to use that with a heart-shaped design. Um, I have this other thing. These are, are literally watch findings that I ordered from Christy Friesen's website a long time ago because I was doing, um, I was going to do a specific project that I never did. So there's like, but I have, oh Lord, the ups truck. Well, that might be my neighbor. Do you know, um, Kirby taught Ginny how to bark. I swear, Ker Ginny never barked before. But like that could be good if I put that there. And then kind of put clay, or I have to embed it a little bit and maybe put a little bit of clay to hold it in. But what you want to do is like, see, I had this wire. I really like the idea of putting some wire but I think this is a little too wide. I want to make it more curly, so I'll wrap it around. Um, I'll make one. I have all types of tools, and one of them is called, I think it's called the Etchin Pearl tool. So I'm just going to take this. I'm sure you could just use a toothpick or, I don't know, some type of stick. And I'm going to take this wire. This is thicker. I need my thinner wire. And don't, I mean, don't ask me what gauge. I think the higher the number, the smaller the gauge. But this says, let's see, 18 gauge. 
So I'll bet you this is like 20 or 24 or something, 22. And I'm just going to try, I'll cut off a piece first and twist this around this. Um, so I'm going to use a little plier so that I can start it, like just bend it around this. Maybe I'll even hold it with the wire. I mean with the plier. And then I'm just going to twist. And I'm ugh, keeping it kind of tight. The twist, you know, like keep the um, twist next to each other because then I'll stretch it out. And that being said, I mean, it's kind of, it's getting smaller as I go. But I think that's enough. I think I went around like four or five times. And now I'm going to stretch it apart. I'm going to get another plier. It's just easier on my old hands and pull it apart. Kirby, you're not going out. I don't think that's big enough. But what I would do, like that, I mean, I could just kind of embed that in the clay and then use like little dots of clay here. This is one thing I wanted to do. Where's my turquoise clay? I'm going to find a little piece of scrap turquoise. really dirty but you can also I'm gonna roll this into a little snake and then you take your dotting tool I'm gonna put a couple here and there I'm gonna put one here here and make little balls of clay Maybe they shouldn't be blue. Silver would look good. I think I'm going to do them in silver. It's not conditioned. I'll be right back. All right, the dogs are outside, thank goodness. But look, so how does that look? Can you see my little... And I had to get Kiwi because she was out of control. Why did that just go dark? That is so weird. The light changed. I don't know. Um, but look, I made a little eyebrow. This is out of the thicker wire, this one. And I think I like the um, eyelet for an eye. And then I don't know about um, his lips and mouth or anything. Like, I could just make a little smile thing like that. I like that. And where are my even put a little something right there. Anywho, um, so now comes the fun part where you can just add, oh, what was I going to do? This silver. So I conditioned my silver and you just take a little fingernail full and make a ball and then put it in those little holes. This is something I learned from uh, Mandarin Moon, I can't think of her name. Um, but anyway, 
I've done I've taken a few of her classes too she does a lot of different texture stuff and then if you take your ball tool you can kind of flatten them out and like that I like that I think I want to add like one here here and I'll put one on the Sun too um, but yeah I am going to I don't know I have a bunch of different stuff I don't know if this is going to stay like that maybe I'll just use clay and put clay over it but the idea is to make it look machine like or you know mechanical ish you know it doesn't have to you can there's a lot of leeway it's not cut in stone I think I do want to make the eye like that. I think it's in a good spot. I'm just going to embed it. And that, there's a good chance that could come out because it's just flat. So I would have to glue it in possibly. Um, I'm just pressing and it looks like there's a, a bubble underneath there too. So I could go boop and see if the bubble comes, the air comes out. Um, so I'm a little bit unsure. I need some inspiration because you could put wings. I got to put some gears. I can also just put a line kind of to represent his eye. And you know, this is kind of a process that I, it's time, you know, it takes time. So I don't want to take up this whole video of me like I have chain, I have so much that I can, and I can't make decisions that quickly. So like these gears look so good, they're a little big, but like see instead of this I could just put a gear over it. I might have smaller ones, let's see, I have wings, I have keys and arrows, that would look cool to have an arrow with a brad or something. Well it's actually like a spinner, right? Um, and I have keys. I like these. These are the um, ideology uh, hitch fasteners. But I generally only use the part, the one part. So I have a lot of screws. So I'll probably use them. Although, like I said, it kind of might be better if they were smaller. But I like them. Um, and these are all the flat. They're all different colors too. That's one thing I love. I wish I had, I might have some stars, some actual metal stars. Oh, I have a spinner. So I think I'll go away and come back one more time and kind of go through this and have what I'm definitely going to use. See, I have very many different um, cogs and wheels and things. I don't know if that looks appropriate but he needs one for his cheek I think I'll put that on his cheek and I'll put like a little I don't know dot of clay in the middle all right so I'm gonna go away and continue to think of what I want to do and I'll be right back all right I found a lot of little this stuff is going to be great for the for the one with the um, bugs because I have flowers and things like that like a little bling butterfly and definitely like feather findings or they're not feathers leaves um, I have to remember my bling I have bling too that I can embed in here but I was gonna ask you guys well I can't really ask it but I found this um, eyelet that's blue and I think it's gonna look good I'm gonna pop this out as gently as I can 
The blue one's a bit bigger. I'm going to push this back down in there. And I'm going to put the blue one in. I think it looks fine. And the thing is, it isn't, you know, cut in stone. So don't, I like it. I'm pushing it in. And I just put a little piece of wire along the bottom. This is like some type of, it was in here. So it's maybe it's from an actual watch. Like it might be the little thing that you like set the watch with, the little knobby John, but I don't know. And it keeps coming out. So I'm going to have to glue him. All right, good. This I embed it. I'm going to embed it deeper. The cheek, I found a smaller one. So there's two sizes. So I found the smaller one. These are just little tiny um, watch findings that were in this. So I'm pushing them in a little deeper now. They're, they might come out. They might not. So probably putting the um, liquid Sculpey under it would probably be a good idea. Um, these I kind of like, but I'm not sure. Like that might be too much. This one I think I'm going to leave here and this one. So I'm going to embed that, and I'm going to embed this. And then these, I haven't quite decided what to do. Um, you know, I have a clock. It's too big. I don't have everything. I really would like to use one of these curly Q things. So maybe down here this one will go, and I'll put like... Um, clay over it to to make it adhere into the clay um, better. This little clock, it was a, a charm and I had to break off the ends and I don't love it. I think I might just like this, just like that, going over the mirror. Um, it's just that you can see the edge of the mirror so I might have to put clay there, but I kind of like that. What are you guys thinking? Um, maybe I could put chain. Aha! I think I have either ball chain or... I have so much chain. So I'll go into my chain. Because I think I have a small, real small. Like this is kind of wide. I have a really small gold chain that I can use. I have tons of chain. So I'm not going to just... I love the ball chain though. So there's, I'm going to put chain around here. Um, I like, I mean, I could put something like that, but I think chain's going to look good. I'll be right back. I'm going to get, find that chain. All right. I think I do like these two gears, but I'm going to, do something with the, um, what am I trying to do? Oh, <laughs> Kiwi's chewing my ear. Okay. I want to do something with this edge first. Um, I think I want to overlay maybe silver clay. So a little piece of that silver. Um, I think I'm just going to roll it out into uh, a snake and just, I don't know if it'll look right, but you know what I'm going to, oh, I'll, I'll texturize it. My desk is so full of stuff. I have no place to work. This clay is kind of old and it's crumbly. I got to get it uh, warmed up. I like it though so far. See, this is not um, conditioned all the way. So maybe I'm going to use white, but I want to use silver. I can put, um, silver mica powder on the white. So hopefully this isn't going to be that long, but that's what happens when when you're creating, right? And I can't find the white right now. Here it is. So again, I'm just gonna 
roll out a snake. And I'm going to And then I think I'm going to use like something that can make like a little bit of a square mark. Like I'm trying to figure out um, maybe this. This is like a different kind of or maybe circles. Yes, I'm going to use my smallest um, etch and pearl tool and do little circles around it, because why not? I have other stuff. Let's see what I have. Um, can't even find the small, here it is. The smallest etch and pearl. So it's got a small little circular. I don't know if it looks right, but you know what? It's texture. And the, the snake wasn't consistent in size all the way, so that looks pretty, though. And then I can embed these because I just think that... Um, I think I'm going to have to glue these on because they're not going to really be embedded very deep. So I'll bake it like this, but then when it comes out, I'll glue it. And then I have, this is the chain I remembered. It's so gold. I think it's going to be perfect. I'm just going to cut it like, so I don't have to unwrap the whole thing. But I don't think it's going to make it all the way around. Yeah, I think it will. So probably I should be putting this liquid Sculpey. What is it called? Translucent? I'm going to try it. I never use it, and I don't know specifically. But I think I'm going to do it. And it says it's translucent. Oops. I think it'll probably adhere the chain better. So let's hope for the best. I'm going to use like something to push that. I'm going to use my little my ball tool. And chain is great because it is textural and it'll grab on too. And if it's translucent, it should, there should be no, um, I'm kind of coming out of the channel. I wanted it in. There should be no, it should see through. So hopefully it's translucent. If not, that's going to be a big um, mistake big mistake. I like that though. It says translucent. That means kind of see-through because uh, I don't want it to be seen. I want to see the chain, so hopefully. And then I could put little things on here too to get that to hold on. Maybe I'll just put some translucent clay under there too, like on here.
I'm not used to this. I've not really used this at all. Like this is full. So we'll see. And it'll be disappointing, but you know what? That's what, oopsie, sorry Kiwi. For your first attempt, you can't be too hard on yourself, kids, okay? You can't beat yourself up if things go wrong. Just enjoy the process as best you can and have fun because I'm not an expert at this. You're not paying for this class. And if you want to have fun and experiment, then that's what we're going to do. But I could also, see I really want to use that silver. Um, kind of seems a little wonky. I want to put a few more silver accents. I do like this. So I think I'm going to, I might as well put some of this. I hope it is translucent. Push it in. And I'm going to put a speck of silver on both ends. I think this definitely needs some type of spring over there too. So I'm going to put this here. put the gold clay in there. Maybe I should do that. I should have used that. Eh, it's fine. This is all design decisions and that's why like this takes me a long time because it's a process for me to to decide. This silver clay is pretty because I can see it has flecks of like color in it and stuff. So let me see what else. I want to put something else here. It could, this is kind of big, a little too big, and it, this, it kind of takes away from the sun. I don't know. I could put one of these stars here, but there's one right there, so I don't really love that. Maybe one of the, um, these things I think would look very, ooh, and then I have like, this, which it's a, a bead cap or a spacer bead, but I do like that just to fill in the area. I don't even know if you'll be able to see those little watch findings after a while. I think I need silver over here. Um, here, this is a part of a, like a, I think I want to use this. This is a brad. I'm going to cut it because I don't need that much to stick out or to stick into the clay, but some of it. Kimmy, are you telling me that? Ouch, damn it. I just cut myself. Dummy. Oh, I just pushed this like sharp edge right into the tip of my thumb. That's how I roll, guys. Yep, now there's it's gonna be a bloody mess. See? Um, okay. I'll just stick the tissue on it for a sec. I'll go get a band-aid. Can't have a bloody mess everywhere. But this could look cute right here. Definitely. Um, and this little clock, no, see, it's, see, it's too, all right, I got to go get a Band-Aid. I don't want to get blood everywhere. And then what else? I want, I guess I could be done. See, I have this star. This is a star little charm. So you just need to, um, break off or actually you can break off these little, um, 
fails. Oh, this is a hollow charm. It's kind of falling apart. I don't think I'm going to use it. I don't know. We'll decide. All right, what else? All right, let me go and get a band-aid. Here's a big eyelet. Ooh, I like that. Like it. I'm going to put that up here. I could put it in the middle of that. That looks cool. I wish I I wish it was like a different color like a bronze or These are cool though. This is this is more like a star. Um so just go through your stash. I will finish this up. And you know what? I'm going to add mica powders before I bake it. I was going to say I'm going to bake it, but I'm not. I have to add the mica powders first. <gasps> Look at these little nuts and bolt things. Oh, they are cool looking. Um, I have so much stuff. It's crazy. Oh, and bling. I haven't. So I'm going to come back with my bling and my mica powders, all right, and a band-aid, and I'll be right back. All right, I think I'm done. I found these little star brads, so I cut the post off of those and embedded a few of those, a few more of the eyelets. Um, I put this one around that. I just thought it needed more. I put some eyelets in between here, which they came out crooked. But I just wanted to fill it up more, and now there's one more thing I'm thinking of doing. I'm going to put a little piece of gold through my, oops, my handle fell off. Past the machine, and maybe make like, because um, then we got to add, and I'm not going to put bling because I filled in a lot of the spots with, metal and like I made texture marks I made a few more stars with the star like I just hit here and here and there with the stars to, just to get filled in and then I'm just gonna cut this piece of clay into like a strip a couple of them because I don't know if I'm what I'm doing really and I'm gonna make some marks with my pointy thing. Actually, um, I'll do it after I put it on. But I was thinking I could use these little, and it, look, it's hard to do with a band-aid too, I'm finding. Um, kind of want to make a little like piece that goes across here. Um, yeah, I think I could do that. I don't know if it needs, it doesn't need it. Never need, it doesn't need anything, right? Just want to. It's a need, between a need and a want. But I think I just, I don't know why. It feels like it might help hold it together better. I'm trying to find something with a little, here, I'll use my ball tool. And just kind of adhere this here and then go across and I'll cut it a little bit and adhere it there I kind of think that's cool I should have put little um, I can do it probably just little texture marks in it and do I want to put another one somewhere? Yeah, I think I might want to put one like over here. I'm doing it in the same color. Um, you could do it in a different color. I'm going to adhere it here. And then cut it. And adhere it. It's not easy with a, a band-aid thumb. It's because I'm so rough when I do things. But that looks kind of cool. Maybe I'll put one more. And, I mean, I could put one 
here. Here might be good. I think I'll put one there. I don't know why, guys. It's just an afterthought that I... I, I remembered, like, Christy Friesen's... Um, she does it in her designs. i got to move that metal. And I just think it looks cool, and I forgot. Like, there's so many things you can do that, you know... You get caught up in doing one thing, and then you're like, oh, I wanted to add this. A lot more um, texture stuff, too, because I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, that looks cool. Now it kind of looks empty over here, but I wanted to leave a little texture there. like. What is her name? Uh, Mandarin Moon. I can't think of her, but I've done a lot of, of my ornaments. She just makes little texture things with clay, like little bumps and just with, with beads of clay. So there's so much, so many options is what I'm getting at that you can use. Do I need another one? Um... I feel like I want to do, no, I think I'm done. I have to be done. You ha At some point, you got to stop. All right, so let's do mica powders now. So I'll just put that aside. Here are my mica powders. Um, I think I want to do the background. I think I'm going to use blues and purples, but really dark blue. I have a lot of colors, so this is called True Blue, and this is called Sky Blue. I think I wanted to use the Sky Blue for my um, outdoor one, my, um, my little bugs. Then I have a Pearl X Blue. This is Green Purple. And I don't know why I'm deciding these colors, but it's just what is occurring to me right now. This is silver, so I want to keep that out. I'm going to use a little bit of purple. This is called Misty Lavender. So I think I'm going to go with the two darker, the blue and the purple and the dark. And I'm going to use a brush. A lot of times when I've used mica powders in the past, if there's no texture. I mean, I could probably still hit it with my finger, but for right now, I'm going to use a brush because I do want, I don't necessarily want it to go into all the nooks and crannies, so that'll be something um, I have to watch out for. If I notice that it's going in all the nooks and crannies, I'll back off with the brush and do it with my finger. You only need a little bit. People say that you should wear a mask too, but for right now, I'm I haven't been using it very often, so I'm going to go in and without a mask on. And I'm not really going in for heavy, heavy coverage. I want it to be subtle. I do want the black to show through. But see how, oops, I just stuck my finger. I did go in the star there. In other words, um... If you use your finger, this is what I mean. So if you use your finger and you just go across the surface, you don't go into the pits of where there's um, indent, indents where you made your... Um, but I don't want to put it all blue. I want it to be some purple. Um, just going to keep going with it, kind of in between the, I'm going to leave a few spots for purple. I don't want to get carried away, which is easy for me to do because this is really beautiful. I love the color. 
All right, I got to stop because I'm getting, I want to leave. And once you've put the powder on, it's not as easy to get the purple to take. So in other words, this, the raw clay is the best place to put the mica powder. It sticks best on raw clay. So once I've put mica powder on an area, it becomes less um, sticky. But um, you will be able to get some purple on there for sure. Wonder how if I'm okay. I just forgot how zoomed in I was. And Kiwi's with me. All right, let's put the purple on. I don't know where those baby wipes. Here they go. I'm glad I didn't get it on my white because I think I want to put silver on the um, white. So I want to, that's why using a brush is helpful too because you can really direct where you want it to go. So let me just hit a few places with this purple. It's a very subtle difference. There's not a big difference actually. So the purple is kind of looking blue anyway, so that's okay. And even after I've used mica powders, I could still antique this which antiquing is not my favorite always. I've done it a lot now because at first I never did. And that's after you've baked, you come back with um, paint. So either a nice dark brown or black paint and that will go into all your nooks and crannies and you wipe it away. So then the black would definitely, or whatever color you antique with will come will be in all the um, details so I'm gonna zoom out a little because you, I I probably don't need to be zoomed in and you'll get a better um, idea of how how it looks So that's the blue and purple. Now I want to go with some, I think I'm going to put silver on the, um, and a little blue, like a little pale, pale. I wish I had like a pale, pale blue. I have white, perfect pearls. I'm going to use either, I think I'm going to use this yellow. This is called solar gold. That's going to be beautiful on the sun, but let me try just silver. It's called antique silver, so it might not even be as bright as I want. I don't know if I have regular silver. Let me just double check. I have so many colors. I have antique gold. All right, I'm not finding a silk. Oh, look, bronze. Ooh, I think I want to use that in a few places on the gold. So I'll two-tone the gold. And then what should I two-tone the... I'm going to go with the silver. Let's just see what the silver... Um... If you do it gently, it should help some of the impressions that we put stand out a little better. <sighs> I don't know. It was already pearlescent clay. I think I just dulled it down from that bright white, which is fine. It's not the end of the world because it's antique silver, you know. 
I could even put a little pink around his mouth. All right, now I'm going to go in with the, um, some of that bronze. That would be really cool. Let's see. This is called antique gold. This is, this is it. This is called copper. Antique copper. This would be bronze. Perfect bronze. Ooh, I like them both. I don't know. I'm going to put this copper because that is cool looking. I want to put that on these little pieces that I did. Make them stand out a little better. I could have even put the silver probably on them. I'm going to really make the uh, rays really bright. So maybe I'll use this solar gold on those. But let's use a little bit of this copper. Just hit and miss on here too because this is like silver finding. Oh, he came unstuck. So he's not going to stay. Where else should I put this? Maybe a little here. I don't know, you guys. I'm just following my little instinct. I'm noticing when I touch the liquid um, clay, it's uh, turning the color, so I don't know if I like that. All right, I really want to see what this solar gold, solar gold looks like. Right, right, Kiwi? So let's put some, oh yeah. I'm going to put it a little bit on the, um, in here too. Might have gotten it too dark. I'm going to spritz it with water because in the directions, like when you're embossing with this or using it in paper crafting, you're supposed to hit it with a little spritz or a mist, really, of water. Um, and that's supposed to set it up. So, what do you think? I think it worked. It's steampunky. I didn't do, um, let's see. I think I'm going to be done. I'm going to bake it. <laughs> and I'll come back and show you after it's baked. But in the meantime, I'll go ahead and cover this with black clay. I'm going to put the stars on here and probably in bed do a few more of the, the techniques like um, just the bits of silver clay, some um, eyelets, some stars, a few of the other metal findings I'll put on the bottom too. And then it'll be a little treasure box. Steampunk style. Do you think that's it? I didn't put my name. I'll put my name on the bottom. All right. Um, I guess I'll come back tomorrow and I'll do, I'm going to do this one with the with a butterfly and maybe a, a ladybug or something like that. And that'll be fun. All right, you guys. So look, I did it. I did a project. I like it. What did I say? It's my cosmic steampunk. Alright you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.